is a swimming pool attendant at Stienberg Hotel, which has their own, they've got their own winery. And that was my first introduction into wine. Uh, from then on, it, it just grew into me. I fell in love with it. And uh, now it's no longer a job, it's a lifestyle. I recently traveled Italy where I visited some of the most amazing wine estates that left a great impression to me. I was in Chianti, I went to Bulgari, um, I went to Lange in Piemont. Um, very soon I'll be traveling to Bordeaux. I've been to the United States as well and I'm looking forward on my birthday St. Patrick's Day I'll be visiting West Sussex and see what they do in England to their sparkling wine. Well, we do quite a variety as far as wine is concerned, and one of them is crafting uh, a Winelands tour experience, and all of them are quite unique, and we try to take away the generic wine tasting experience that the guests can do themselves at a winery. So one of the things we do is a, a Wineland's Big Five Safari. And a Big Five Safari, no animals, no lions, rhinos whatsoever, but it's the major grape varieties in South Africa, which are your Sauvignon Blanc, your Chenin Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, uh, Shiraz, Pinotage. And guests get to go through the vineyards. We do a cellar tour, a vineyard tour. And it's, it's a very rare, amazing experience where you're surrounded by Sauvignon Blanc um, grapes around you or blocks of Sauvignon Blanc. And you get to taste Sauvignon Blanc right there. Um, a wine made from that particular fruit. They can also do a cellar tour and a cellar tasting so they get to taste wines from the barrel, wines not yet released that people have tasted and get to um, sort of work on a projected lifespan of a wine. But one of my favorite is everybody has a favorite wine and people say, you know, I like Bordeaux style blends. I like my Cabernet Sauvignon with Merlot and, and Cabernet Franc. And I take them through wineries. And in these wineries, they get to make their own wine. You get to blend your Cabernet Sauvignon, maybe 60% of it, with 20% Merlot, 10% uh, Cabernet Franc, 10% uh, Petit Verdot. And you get to taste it. The winemaker is there. Uh, sometimes I get to be there to drive and guide the guest in, in the blending process. And if the guest is happy with what they've blended at the end, of course it's trial and error, they get to, to say, this is my favorite. I think right here, I've blended the best wine I've ever tasted in my life. It doesn't end there. The winery bottles it for you. And you don't get the inconvenience of traveling with that wine. The winery can then arrange to send that wine into your address, wherever you are in the world, and with no limitations in quantity. So it can be that one bottle, or it can be 12 cases. I think we may, we've got an amazing world-class product in South Africa and um, uh, that is in sync with some of the finest wines in the world. And we look at typicity and what we give. If you taste South African Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, it's got some of the most amazing characteristics and we look at the purity of fruit, the structure, the balance, the consistency, the tannins, and the fact that you get to enjoy this wine in its youth um, with a beautiful fruit, accessible tannins, but it gets to age so well as well. So our wines, and we've tasted blind South African wines, again, some of the amazing wines from France, Australia, the United States, New Zealand, um, all over. And people love South African wines. And for the value you get for, for our wines, it's, it's amazing. We are the only country on earth where we've got 
wines made with the majestic view of two oceans. You've got the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic seaboard and a very high altitude, consistently cool climate. We don't have what the world um, is challenged with, which is difficult years. We consistently, year in, year out, have the most amazing vintages that just continues to get better every year. I love them all. I love them all. And some of them stands out. Um, I like Burgundian style on some days. And we, we make amazing Pinot Noirs, um, really great Pinot Noirs. Uh, and there's a region in South Africa that is just a Burgundian style region in South Africa, which is Hemelenarte Valley. Uh, the Pinot Noirs that we make there are um, even in the same level as what you've tasted from Nuit Saint-Georges, Côte de Vougeot, Pune de Montrachet, amazing Burgundian style wines. Uh, there's still plenty. I mean, um, one of them will be Canon Cop. Uh, Canon Cop, the cellar master, Abre Biesler, is a very good friend of mine, and he had been for a number of years, and he's the only winemaker in South Africa that we've had that was voted best winemaker in the world twice. Um, Guest gets to experience uh, a vertical masterclass experience at the estate with him at the library, or they get to visit Warwick and get into a safari truck and drive through the vineyards. Uh, Jordan Wine Estate is next door as well. We've got the most amazing boutique exclusive wine farms open for the guests. Will be Domain de la Romani Conti, uh, which is for me the most faultless of Pinot Noirs, the greatest. I mean, the wine is so clean, it's so structured, it's not heavily fruit driven, it's not perfumed, it's just in a glass and it ages so beautifully. So uh, from Burgundy, that's my ultimate wine. And in Italy, there's a winery I had the privilege to visit and taste wines from. It's in Gaiolin Chianti, called Castello di Arma. And the wine I tried there, my goodness, it was an ultimate discovery of all things Italian. One of them is the Chef in the Vine series, which I host with the winemaker and the chef every month. Here we've got a culinary experience crafted around wine. We can always change an ingredient in the menu, but we can't change what's bottled. And winemakers are rock stars. They get to present their wines in their hotel to our guests in any of our restaurants every month. Um, that's a unique experience where it's simplistic. It's, it's a nice, pleasurable experience. Um, it's one of them. The other one that we do is a cheese and wine tasting experience crafted for the guest in the hotel. I do those every single day in the afternoon for two hours with our guests. And these are not wines that I set, I set that I select um, for the evening, I always converse with the guests and try to understand what style appeals the most to them, what do they like, and I select wines according to that and take them through the journey. And each wine can taste similar to guests, but the stories the wine have are distinct and different, and people are touched with stories, and it is my responsibility then to bring these stories, share them with guests, and create an experience around them through wine. I also host um, tasting experiences in the hotel that are varietal or regional driven. And we call these palate intelligence masterclass. So in this case, a guest will then say, 
all they like is Cabernet Sauvignon, nothing else, and they want to try South African Cabernet Sauvignons. And I take them then through a journey of Cabernet Sauvignons from different regions or different, different clones of Cabernet Sauvignons or blends of Cabernet Sauvignons and vertical masterclass of Cabernet Sauvignons and to share the insights and the philosophies and the direction each winemaker is trying to achieve uh, with each Cabernet Sauvignon. Some Cabernet Sauvignons are accessible in their youth, they're meant to be enjoyed with, within five years, so it's all about freshness, easy drinking, and some are made more investment wines, wines you can age for a very long time, and guests get to understand the difference from that particular style to that particular style. I love those two.